Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery video. So this week I did do some filming in store. So before I get into the grocery haul and meal plan, I'm gonna take you shopping with me. So these ready pastas are 10 for $10. I have a dollar off coupon, but I also have a dollar off digital coupon. So I'm gonna get two of these for free. These almonds are on the mega event for $2.29. There is a $2 digital coupon. I do think it is expiring like really soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. It looks like they are pretty wiped out. I gotta find a flavor that Cody will eat. The gourmet ones are on the mega too for $2.49. So I think that would be a great deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with these just because you get more in this can. I mean, not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. You guys, these taco seasoning mixes and then like some of the dinner mixes are an amazing deal right now because of this dollar off three coupon. This is definitely the time to stock up. So that is what I'm gonna do. I am going to grab quite a few of these. So there is a yellow coupon for buy one get one free on these cereals. So you buy this one and then you can get this one for free. There's another one that's more expensive but I don't see it right now. Anyways, I have a $2 basket coupon that is digital but I also have this one as well that is going to stack with it. So that is going to be an awesome deal. These are going to end up being free. See how much their prices change here just like last week these were 79 cents but gotta have sour cream Okay, Texans are doing the most, you guys. Sweet tea jelly, I don't know about that. How cute is this? I feel like I need this in my house. I love it. There is a digital coupon for some free creamy creations of this limited edition one. I was gonna pick up one for Cody on his account, but the one that I think he would like is completely sold out, so I'm just gonna get one for me today. All right, so here is what my cart looks like today. It is pretty full, but I want to tell you guys, I do have a three off 30 digital coupon that I'm gonna use, so let's go check out. Okay, so here is the meal plan for this next week. Um, Saturday, which is today when I'm filming this, we are going to my parents' house, and I'm honestly not sure what time we're gonna get home. I don't know if we're gonna eat with them, but if we do get home in time, I have hot dogs on the meal plan because that's one of Aria's favorites. Sunday, I'm going to roast a chicken. Um, yeah, I don't know, that just sounded good. Um, Monday, lemon chicken pasta. That is a really good recipe. I will leave that link down below for you. Tuesday, we're gonna do chicken tortilla soup. Oh, by the way, um, these meals are gonna be using like leftover chicken. I'm gonna be cooking two of the whole chickens this week that I bought. Wednesday, we're gonna do spaghetti. Thursday, chicken and dumplings. And Friday, one of my favorites, Cajun chicken pasta. I've also gotten back into meal planning for Aria just because it's so much easier. Like I don't have to put thought into it. I just look at the list and then pull out whatever and make it for her. I do like to keep things pretty simple since I do cook every night. Um, but yeah, so breakfast we have oatmeal, hash browns, cereal, toast, and then oatmeal again. And of course I always have like fruit on hand for her. So I give her that. And then lunch is going to be broccoli littles, a peanut butter sandwich. She loves peanut butter sandwiches now. Um, a cheesy roll-up. I'm not sure if she's going to eat that, to be honest. She never eats it when I give it to her. 
but we're going to try again. Um, the broccoli littles again, and then Friday we'll just clean out the fridge and eat leftovers. And again, I have plenty of fruits and veggies to pair with these meals. All right, so as usual, I am going to start with HEB. So I picked up two boxes of these corn flakes and then two boxes of these chocolatey flake things. I don't know. That's probably something that Cody's going to eat. But yeah, those ended up being free. I got a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies for my tortilla soup. I got black beans for my tortilla soup. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I just, I think it's good added in. I picked up this classic roast coffee. This ended up being a little bit of a money maker with the coupons. So I usually wouldn't pay like 97 cents or whatever um, this deal worked out to for the dressings, but I really like this Chipotle Ranch dressing for my Chipotle Ranch chicken in the crock pot and not many stores carry it in my area but the new HEB does. So I just went ahead and got that and I figured that it would be nice to have some croutons on hand for Cody's salads. Um, I do make croutons sometimes, but you know, this was just easier. So I picked up the seasoned ones and then the garlic and onion. Yeah, so I went a little crazy with the seasoning mixes. I picked up 12 of the taco seasoning mixes. You can do so much with taco seasoning, like it doesn't have to be just for tacos. And then I got five of the chili mixes, three beef stew, one meatloaf, because we don't really eat meatloaf, so I'm not sure if we would even like this but I just figured we would try it out. And then three of the Sloppy Joe mixes, because Cody really likes Sloppy Joes. I don't, but he does, so I got that for him. I picked up a block of cheese for Aria. Y'all know that child has gotta have her cheese. I got some ground beef for spaghetti. I got this four pack of the HEB vanilla yogurts for Cody's lunches. I got some heavy whipping cream for the Cajun chicken pasta, and then I'm also going to use that for my mashed potatoes. I had made mashed potatoes like a while back, and I didn't have milk to mix in with them. And so I had heavy whipping cream and I mixed it in and it was delicious. And I don't know why I haven't been doing that sooner, but yeah, that is really good. I found these overnight oatmeals on clearance for 45 cents. I figured that maybe this would be a good breakfast for Cody and Aria. They're probably going to try this tomorrow for breakfast. But yeah, 45 cents. And these don't go out of date until February 27th. I bought these on the 21st. I picked up some sour cream and then I also got my free ice cream. I got the puppy love flavor. This looks good. It's Vanilla flavored ice cream with chocolate chips, peanut butter, and graham cracker swirls. I don't know. That just sounds really good. I picked up a half a gallon of milk. And then, you guys, I was super excited about this soda deal. So, um, hopefully, you can understand what I was trying to show you in the store. But if not, um, these were $2.67. I had to pick up three. There was a digital coupon for $2 off when you spent $8 on sodas. And then there was also a BOGO coupon. So when you bought the sodas, you got the chips for free. So I think these worked out to like a dollar a piece. So yeah, I got two of the Cokes and then there is a Dr. B hiding back there. And then for my free chips, I got the ranch and then two of the nacho cheese. I picked up these pizza snacks because I had that $2 coupon for frozen food. So these just came out to like 39 cents, I believe. I figured this would be a good like lunch or something for me and Cody on the weekends, just something quick and easy. Y'all rarely see me buy hot dog buns just because I have so much bread in the freezer that I'm trying to use up. So why would I need to buy hot dog buns? But honestly, Cody prefers his hot dogs on hot dog buns. So I just, I splurged this week for hot dog buns. I'm just kidding guys. They were only 85 cents. For produce this week, I picked up a red bell pepper. That is for the Cajun chicken pasta. I picked up some celery that is going to be used for the chicken that I'm making. And I'll also probably put this in Cody's lunches and then like snacks and lunches for Aria as well. Some green onions, that's for the Cajun chicken pasta too. Three cucumbers, you guys know that's a usual thing around here. I picked up two honey crisp apples because they were 99 cents a pound. I got some baby carrots. I like having baby carrots on hand for Aria. She eats them for snacks, lunches, dinners. I don't know, the child loves carrots. And then I got a squash, three lemons. Two are gonna be used for the lemon chicken pasta I'm making this week. And then one is gonna be used for my chicken. I got some romaine lettuce and then some broccoli. Oops, I almost forgot my little Roma tomato right there. All right, so now moving on to Kroger. The thing that I was most excited about this week was this chicken. So this was a Friday, Saturday deal. These were 69 cents a pound, so I picked up four. I wanted to get five, but um, the other ones were a little bit bigger than I wanted. So I just got four. This ended up being $15 in chicken, but I usually get about three meals out of each chicken. So this is great. So I picked up 
um, two for this week. And then these two are going to go into the freezer. So most of our meals this week are going to be from these chickens. I got some eggs and garlic bread because we love garlic bread around here. I got three cans of veggies. So I picked up some corn. I don't know if this is weird, but whenever I make mashed potatoes, I have to have corn in my mashed potatoes. I don't know. It's just so good. But yeah, I have some potatoes on hand that I need to use up. So I'm going to make mashed potatoes and put corn in it. And then I got some peas for Aria and some green beans. I got these wavy lays. I'll explain that in a second. I picked up two of these Barilla Ready pastas. These were free after the coupons. And I just figured that these would be a quick and easy lunch for Aria and I one day. And then here is my mega event items. So I picked this up because it was on clearance for 89 cents and I thought that that was kind of interesting and Cody might like to try that for lunch or something. So yeah, I got that and I didn't realize, but this was a qualifying mega event item, which kind of came in handy because I was walking through the aisle and I saw this and I thought that this was on the mega event. I did not read the tag clearly and it was not on the mega event. <laughs> so I paid way too much for this. I mean, I did use a coupon, but... Yeah, I paid way too much for these chips, like $1.99. That is ridiculous when I just got like three bags of free chips over there. So anyways, this thing saved me because it was a qualifying item. So I got the $4 off for the other items. I just didn't get that extra dollar off for this since it was already under a dollar. But yeah, it worked out fine. I got two boxes of the Quaker Chewy Granola Bars, and then I got these Blue Diamond Almonds and the Habanero Barbecue Flavor. Um, Cody likes these. These are probably going to go in his lunches. And then I got some of the Sweet Lauren's Fudgy Brownie Cookie Dough. This stuff is actually really good. We've had this before. These hot dogs were on sale for 72 cents, and you guys know my child loves hot dogs. So I went ahead and picked these up. We might have these this week. We might not. And then I got a green bell pepper for the Cajun Chicken Pasta. I did get some more coupons when I checked out. So I am gonna probably go back to the store in the next few days to pick up that free ice cream and then also to use these. But honestly, it's not going to affect my grocery budget at all because everything will end up being free. I'll get some more of that Moneymaker coffee and then the same cereal deal that I just showed you guys. Okay, so my total after coupons came to $58.15 bringing me to a total of $202.94 for the whole month. Like I mentioned previously, this was a stock up month for us while still keeping the budget $200. And I'm pretty happy with how I did. I was able to stock the freezer with around 28 pounds of meat. Um, I also got cereals, the seasonings, um, peanut butter, you know, all kinds of stuff to stock the pantry and freezers. So that is it for this week's grocery video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.